Hey everyone, Dulce here and you're watching Candy's Garden. So I started these seeds doing something like this, the method that I've uh, mentioned before, where I placed the seeds on top of the soil, covered them with perlite, dampened the soil, and then covered uh, the area with a plastic bag. Now, as you can see, it's nothing fancy. All you have to do is use one of those bags that you get from Walmart or HEB, well, from the grocery store. Some of y'all don't have an HEB, but your local grocery store. Um, anywho, um, let's open these up and check to see how um, all the seeds are doing. Now, I'm not sure if it's because it's been so hot out here, but nothing except for this one right here. And they're all pepper plants on the side. I'll show you the names once um, everybody starts popping up what I've got growing. But I'm going to cover all everybody once again. And I'm going to place them in the shade because it's so darn hot. Uh, especially where I had them. But of course pepper plants, you know, they like the heat whenever... Um, they're trying to come up, but um, these pepper plants, all of these cups have something um, coming up. But yeah, I started everybody on uh, May the 31st, on Memorial Day. Um, I think it was Memorial Day, or the, yeah, the 31st, I'm sorry, the day after Memorial Day. And this batch right here was the only one that came up. So um, it's been a little over a week since I started these guys, I'm going to go ahead and place the bag on top, put them in the shade, and um, share an update next week. Wish me luck. So today is June the 14th, and it's been nearly a week since I shared anything on these guys for y'all. Um, let's go ahead and uncover them to see if there's any progress since I placed them in the shade. So this is what we have so far. This one right here, they're all doing pretty well. Something coming up in all containers. Over here, none that I see. Right here, only this one right here. And I know that this one is a pepper plant. And over here, nothing so what I'm going to do is give them a little bit more water I'm hoping that the them being in the Sun didn't fry them I'm hoping okay but um, you live and you learn and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little bit more water and place the bag over them again and hopefully in another week we can see better progress from these guys. All right, so today is June the 30th, and as you can see, I've got plenty to tell y'all all about. Uh, a lot popping up, some are not, but of course, it's been a little over two weeks since I last updated y'all on these guys before I reveal what I'm growing uh, sorry about the mix-up most of these were tomato plants instead of what I thought was pepper plants and I did receive some of the seeds from the pepper guy so the link to his channel will be in the description box below as well as um, the seedlings that I grew from other channels. Their channel will be in the description box below. So let's reveal what he sent that I am now growing. All right, right here, these two right here. This one right here is purple jalapeno crossed with a, a Japanese pepper. So what happened was he is the guy to go to if you want pepper crossings, okay? I gave him 
some seeds as well as peppers that I had that I wanted him to cross. Oh, there's a spider on me. So these right here came from the purple jalapeno. It was more like a um, ornamental purple jalapeno, okay? It's not spicy at all. And so he got the Japanese pepper flower and um, crossed it with this plant, the purple jalapeno. And these are what I'm growing. And then this one is the um, Japanese pepper crossed with the purple jalapeno. So you got the plant of the Japanese pepper and he took the flower from the purple jalapeno and pollinated the Japanese pepper and you get these. So I'm growing quite a bit of that just because I love the peppers and I had more seeds in those packets than I did the other ones that he gave me. Anywho, over here, he did give me a um, jalapeno crossed with a santaka and I have two of those growing. This one, I got one to grow, but one is better than none. It's a zing pepper. Not sure what that is, but it's supposed to be a super hot. So maybe that was a good thing that only one came up. And last but not least from him, it's an orange pepper. He's not sure um, what uh, is the name of it, but yeah, I got like, yeah, two, two growing from that. Okay, so I did put in a few of my seeds um, that I collected from this type of, it's sort of like dragon fruit, it's a pataya fruit, and I got some seedlings growing over there, it's a kind of cactus, look up dragon fruit and you'll see uh, what they look like, but this is a different type, and I'll try to find a picture of it and upload it what it looks like but yeah that's what i'm growing of my own um this one was the royal burgundy beans and as you can see none came up that was from tiffany at tucson urban gardening and i'm um, just thinking maybe it's because of how i started this and they got fried so uh no luck on those this was also from tiffany it was that uh, red Swiss chard and um, got two, two coming up, which is good. And the mutant peppers was from her. None are coming up. That sucks, but I can always start some more. I got some jigsaw peppers. I believe this is a jigsaw. Yeah, jigsaw and they're looking really nice. Look at that color, y'all pretty color and this one was the fish pepper and I got a couple growing from her seeds now the rest are all from UT 33200 from UT Angel and Kiddo and let's see what we got here we got one little bitty straggler growing let me see if I could turn this one around and it is a lemon pepper, lemon drop pepper. One is better than none. Um, let me see this one. This one is the sugar rush peach. Got one growing. Oh, I see another one down there. Yeah, two. Over here, we got tomatoes, which I'm excited about. I'm going to go ahead and put this with all my basil because, you know, I don't want anything to happen with these tomatoes. And um, I think pests don't really like basil. Um, anywho, um, let's get with the peppers first. So this one is a buena mulata. No, no, this one's a pumpkin the pumpkin pepper and then this one's a buena mulata let me see yeah buena mulata right there all right so out of the tomato i have the black burgundy huh let me see i can't read that black burgundy wine 
Blackberry Gandy Wine. I have the Black Cherry Tomato. The Blueberry Cherry Tomato. And then last but not least, the White Wander Tomato. So there you have it, y'all. All of the new seedlings that I'm growing. Of course, I will transplant the bigger ones where I need to transplant them. And yeah, uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like a update on these guys right here whenever they get bigger. Please do check out UT33200 UT Angel and Kiddos channel. The link to that will be in the description box below. As well as Tiffany with Tucson Urban Gardening. Her link will be in the description box below. And the Pepper Guy. Chance. The Pepper Guy. All of their channel links will be in the description box below. Well, I sure hope you all enjoyed this. And remember, y'all, love God because he loves you. And y'all have a nice day now. Go here. Bye.